is Power BI? Now, I already discussed uh, we can leverage Power BI, but what is Power BI all about, right? What what all uh, you know it offers? What are the different components of a Power BI? So Power BI, uh, this is you know a name which is being in the market for a couple of years now, right? Uh, before 2015, there was a, there was a, a Excel Power BI, so we used to install. Uh, uh, different add-ins like uh, Power Pivot, Power View, Power Query, Power Maps within the Excel, and uh, we used to generate the data models. And uh, all the, I mean, data analyst or business in intelligence analyst, uh, they they do the ad hoc analysis using that, right? But in 2015, Microsoft has uh, uh, you know launched this tool called Power BI, and Power BI basically is a collection of various services you know that works together, right? So in Power BI, you have a tool called Power BI Desktop. You have Power BI Services. You have Power BI Gateways. You have Power BI Publishers. You have Power BI uh, Report Servers. You know, so these tools are used for different, 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 uh, you know, uh, implementation scenarios, right? So Power BI Desktop is the tool that is used to basically author your reports, right? So pretty much every 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 developer, every analyst across the globe, they will be using Power BI Desktop, you know, to design and implement their reporting applications. So if you have to summarize Power BI in a nutshell, it's a, it's a business intelligence uh, service provided by Microsoft, which has got the self-service BI capabilities in it, right? And Power BI Desktop is nothing but a combination of the same four add-ins that we spoke uh, about in Excel. Uh, Power Pivot, which is used to basically connect to variety of sources, uh, create the data models, then uh, Power Query, which is used to perform data cleansing operations. You can do all the data preps, data wrangling into it. And then uh, Power uh, View, that's a collection of the visuals available, which you can use to plot your measures to the visuals. And uh, finally, you have Power Map. That is, again, a, a kind of an extended version of the visuals itself, where you have different types of maps available. So you can graphically represent the data you know, over the globe. right? So that's the that's the basic uh, introduction to Power BI. Uh, when we'll jump onto the demos, we'll discuss about like you know services, gateways, and all that, right? And what is their usage? So with the help of Power BI, you can basically uh, uh, you know implement data-driven culture within your organization. So every single decision must be based on the data, not just on like thinking or you know assumptions. You know, so that is very important for any organization to have data-driven culture in place, right? So that is pretty much about it. And let's jump on to the next slide. That is why Power BI? Why do we uh, you know, use Power BI, not any other reporting tool, right? So as I said earlier, uh, Power BI is a self-service BI tool. It has got uh, self-service uh, you know, BI capabilities. So it is, it, is, it is a modern reporting tool. It's not a conventional reporting where uh, you have to wait for the developers. They come in and they start creating the models for you. Uh, and if you have uh, any 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 source, you know, which is out of the box, you know, then they have to again uh, create custom connectors and then you know, you know, bring the data into the uh, reporting tool and then start doing you know the reporting piece. So those problems is not there in the Power BI. It's not a conventional reporting tool. It's a modern uh, BI tool which has got this self BI capabilities. So the very first reason why you should go for Power BI is it's very easy to use. A layman can come and install it and start using it and start generating the reports, right? So uh, to be very honest, you can create basic reports in few clicks within few minutes, right? So that's the first reason. Then it supports wide range of data sources, right? Uh, did you ever imagine, okay, I'll go and uh, uh, bring in all my timeline from Twitter account, I'll go to Facebook, I'll go to XYZ, you know, social media and bring in all the information to my Power BI and start doing the reports or any web-based sources, APIs, structured, unstructured. I mean, it has over 100 of uh, connectors uh, which you can connect within the Power BI and bring in your data within the Power BI engine. And when it comes to data sources, they offer three modes like uh, import, direct queries, and live connect. So depending on your deployment, you can choose the right uh, fit for your uh, scenario. Then you can perform data wrangling operations. This is one of the most important uh, need you know, for any, any business decision, right? Because when you bring the data from various platforms, they are not in 
the given format, the, the, the format that you want in your report, right? They are in a different schema structure and you want to have into a different form, right? So in that case, uh, you know, you need to have some sort of uh, uh, functionalities within a tool that can help you do the ETL for you, that can do the data massaging for you, right? For example, if I'm getting uh, uh, maybe uh, a date uh, column, which has, uh, which has a month, uh, day, and uh, year, right? But the client is interested, I want to have the months and year only, right? So if you go with the conventional reporting tool, you can't do that. You have to uh, come to some, you know, modern tool, right? So Power BI has that functionality in it, right? So converting the data types, spreading the columns, you know, creating calculations, creating measures, you know, so all these pieces can be done within the Power BI. Real time information. So in the previous slide, I said about something called gateways, right? So for example, you know, when, when the transaction happens, you know, within the uh, system, right? When the transaction has been committed, right? I want to see that information in the reports at the, you know, in the, in, in the meantime, in the, in the real time, right? So if you talk about the conventional reporting tools, that was pretty much not possible, right? Uh, there are some workarounds that people does, but here this is the built-in built -in functionality, you know? So with the help of gateways, you can set up, you know, how frequently your, your reports data will be refreshed, uh, you know, from the underlying sources. So uh, if you are in a pro capacity, you are in a premium capacity, it depends like, you know, how, what is the requirement? And then you can basically configure those to, you know, get the real time feeds, you know. Easy to collaborate, right? So uh, for example, if you have a team sitting across the globe in different countries, different regions, you know, and they have uh, different modes of access, right? So Power BI is very powerful in collaboration, right? So everything is going to be deployed inside uh, Power BI services, which is the uh, uh, cloud-based uh, service from uh, uh, Microsoft, which is used to host and maintain your uh, reports within the uh, Azure uh, data centers. So using that, you can share these reports, dashboards to uh, n number of users. Uh, user groups, and uh, you can embed uh, your reports uh, or visuals to the websites. It could be a public website, it could be a secured website, it could be a SharePoint team site, you know, it could be on-premises, it could be cloud hosted, it depends, right? And you can access these reports, uh, you know, within cell phones, within uh, uh, iPads, tablets, you know, desktops, laptops, anything, you know. So, and, 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 uh, this Power BI app, you know, is the one of the, you know, highest downloads, you know, uh, in, in, in terms of numbers uh, in, in App Store, right? So it has a, a full-fledged uh, support for collaborate, uh, you know, collaborating across teams, sitting across uh, different locations, uh, you know, across different uh, devices, right? AI-infused experience. So it uses, uh, you know, AI at the background to help you do any analysis, you know. So for example, if you want to say, I want to analyze, uh, 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 you know, how much discount should I give to this product line to improvise a sale, right? Or how much, uh, what, 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 uh, you know, steps should I take to basically improvise a business process or, you know, increase my operations, increase my sales, increase my profit, you know? So that's where you can, uh, you know, leverage this AI infused uh, capabilities of Power BI. They offer various visuals like, uh, uh, they have the composition tree, they have uh, key influencers, they have uh, built-in Q&A feature, you know, where you can write uh, plain English uh, queries, questions, and then, you know, it can be, uh, uh, you know, given in a required uh, format or required uh, visuals, right? So they have a built-in capability of that. Then you can increase your business impact with the help of Power BI and Azure Synapse Analytics. So Azure Synapse Analytics is quite a, a new term in the market, but that is an old, uh, old implementation from Microsoft. Uh, it was called as Azure earlier, but uh, last year, 2019, so I think November or December, they, they changed the name to Azure Synapse. Now Azure Synapse is integrated with Power BI. So now if you have a huge uh, volume of data, you can have them stored into the Azure Synapse, right? And then consume it through Power BI. So that is gonna be a win-win situation for any organization where uh, if they go with the combo of these two, it's gonna be a win-win situation for them, right? And all uh, cost effective, you know, that is the primary concern for any organization, any business, any person, right? So if you go with the pro capacity, uh, it, it costs you just 9.99 per month. And if you have, uh, uh, you know, large number of users, uh, a big organization where the headcount is over thousand, you know, you can go with the premium capacity 
And uh, if you if you do the costing, uh, the, the the numbers, you know, if I have thousand users, I'll be spending you know a thousand into ten, right? It's going to be ten thousand dollars. And when you go with the premium capacity, it's going to be five thousand dollars a month, right? So it is going to be again. Uh, a cost uh, a saving for the organization, right? So these are the various factors, uh, you know, that 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 uh, you should consider uh, to go on to Power BI. Uh, there could be other factors as well, but yeah, these are the common ones in my mind. Yeah.